we are providing you with a general overview of what touch sensing is and potential interview questions related to touch sensing technology at Apple or any other company. However, please note that specific interview questions asked by Apple or any other company can vary depending on the role you are applying for and the interviewer's preferences. Here are some general touch sensing related interview questions that may be asked. What is touch sensing and how does it work in touchscreen devices? Touch sensing is the method used to detect user input through physical touch on a device's surface. In touchscreen devices, capacitive touchscreens use electrical charge changes when touched, while resistive touchscreens rely on physical pressure to detect touch points. Controllers interpret the input and enable various interactions on the device. Explain the difference between capacitive touch and resistive touch technologies. Capacitive touch relies on electrical charge changes when touched and supports multi-touch gestures, while resistive touch requires physical pressure and supports single-touch input. Capacitive is more common in modern devices for its sensitivity and multi-touch capability, while resistive is used in specific applications that need pressure-based input or lower cost. How do you implement multi-touch functionality in touch screens? What are the challenges involved? To implement multi-touch functionality in touch screens, specialized capacitive touch sensors are used to detect multiple touch points simultaneously. The challenges involve precise coordination of touch inputs, avoiding false touches, and handling complex gestures for smooth user experiences. Advanced algorithms and hardware are required to accurately interpret and respond to multiple touch inputs in real time. Can you describe the principles behind inductive touch sensing? How does it differ from capacitive touch sensing? Inductive touch sensing works based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It uses coils and changes in electromagnetic fields to detect touch inputs. Unlike capacitive touch sensing, it does not require direct physical contact with the screen, making it suitable for applications like gloves or non-conductive materials. What are the advantages and limitations of using optical touch sensing in comparison to other touch technologies? Advantages of optical touch sensing. High accuracy and precision in touch detection. Supports multi-touch functionality. Works with both bare fingers and styluses. Durable and resistant to physical damage. Excellent optical clarity for vibrant displays. Limitations of optical touch sensing susceptible to ambient light interference, may require additional components, leading to higher cost, limited performance in wet or dusty conditions, potential for parallax error in certain setups, complex calibration needed for large displays. How would you optimize touch sensor performance in challenging environments, such as extreme temperatures or high humidity? To optimize touch sensor performance in challenging environments, such as extreme temperatures or high humidity. Select appropriate materials, choose touch sensor materials that can withstand the specific environmental conditions, ensuring stability and reliability. Enclosure design, use a robust enclosure to protect the touch sensor from extreme temperatures, humidity and moisture. Sealing and coatings, Apply appropriate seals and coatings to make the touch sensor resistant to moisture and environmental contaminants. Temperature compensation. Implement temperature compensation algorithms to account for variations in touch sensor performance due to temperature changes. Environmental testing. Perform rigorous testing under extreme conditions to identify weaknesses and make necessary improvements. Regular maintenance, conduct regular maintenance and cleaning to keep the touch sensor functioning optimally in challenging environments. How do you handle false touches or accidental touches in touch screens to improve user experience? To handle false touches or accidental touches in touch screens and improve user experience. Use advanced touch algorithms, Implement sophisticated touch algorithms that can differentiate between intentional touches and unintended ones. Ignore small touches, disregard tiny or brief touches that are likely accidental and not deliberate user interactions. Implement palm rejection, develop palm rejection algorithms that recognize and ignore accidental touches made by the user's palm while holding the device.
Adjust touch sensitivity. Allow users to adjust touch sensitivity settings to match their preferences and reduce accidental touches. Virtual bezels. Create virtual bezels around the screen edges to reduce unintentional touches near the edges. Multi-touch gesture recognition. Recognize specific multi-touch gestures and prioritize intentional gestures over unintended ones. By implementing these strategies, touch screens can provide a more accurate and frustration-free user experience, reducing the impact of false or accidental touches on device interactions. What are the main factors affecting touch sensor accuracy and sensitivity, and how do you address them? Main factors affecting touch sensor accuracy and sensitivity. Environmental conditions, factors like extreme temperatures, humidity, and ambient light can impact accuracy. Use appropriate materials, sealing, and calibration to mitigate their effects. Electronic noise, electrical interference from other components can affect sensitivity. Implement noise filtering techniques and shield the touch sensor. Calibration. Improper calibration can lead to inaccuracies. Conduct precise calibration during manufacturing and allow users to recalibrate if needed. Physical damage, scratches, dirt, or damage on the touch surface can reduce accuracy. Use durable materials and encourage regular maintenance. Multi-touch interference, Simultaneous touches can interfere with accuracy. Apply advanced touch algorithms to differentiate and interpret multi-touch inputs accurately. Addressing these factors involves careful design, use of appropriate materials, calibration, noise filtering, and implementing advanced touch algorithms to ensure accurate and sensitive touch sensor performance. Describe the touch controller's role in touch sensing systems and how it communicates with the main processor. The touch controller is the central component in touch sensing systems. It detects touch inputs from the touch sensor and processes the data. It then communicates the interpreted touch data to the main processor, which translates the touch input into user actions, such as opening apps or executing commands. The touch controller ensures seamless interaction between users and the device, enabling a responsive and intuitive touch experience. Communication with the main processor typically occurs through interfaces like I2C, SPI, or USB. Can you explain the calibration process and its significance? Calibration in touch screens involves configuring the touch sensor to accurately correspond to the display's coordinates. It is crucial because variations in manufacturing, environmental factors, and touch sensor performance can lead to inaccuracies. Calibration ensures precise touch input, improves user experience, and enables accurate recognition of touch locations on the screen. During calibration, the system collects touch data across specific points on the display, compares them to the actual coordinates, and then applies adjustments to compensate for any deviations. This process enhances the touch accuracy, making the touch screen more responsive and reliable. Remember, technical questions may be followed by behavioral questions to gauge your problem-solving skills, teamwork, communication, an ability to handle real-world scenarios related to touch sensing technology. It's essential to be well prepared with both theoretical knowledge and practical experience if you're interviewing for a position related to touch sensing technology.